This week on In the Field, I step out of my comfort zone and do a little urbex photography. Hi everybody, my name is Scott Davenport and welcome to In the Field, the show where I take you along with me on one of my photo outings and then come back and talk about uh, what I learned, uh, what I would do differently, and just you know, share some of the behind the scenes footage with you so you can you know, get an idea of what I do when I'm out there taking photos. So uh, I wanted to go to the Salton Sea for a long time. This is a, a large body of water in Southern California, out in the desert, and uh, it was a really popular place in the 50s and 60s, and uh, quickly uh, became <laughs> kind of a disaster. Uh, you know, you can, you know, if you're really curious about it, check out you know Wikipedia and other sites that talk about the history of it. Long story short, a lot of the little resorts that sprung up all around the uh, really the lake. Uh, you know, just crumbled and disappeared because uh, the lake became unsustainable. You know, too much salt, too much irrigation, runoff, all sorts of things. And so what it ends up with is a, it's now a, a big portion of it's a wildlife preserve. And there are these you know, ruins of these towns that are you know, in the place. So I wanted to go there for a long time, uh, partially to take some uh, sunrise photos because you have a nice large body of water. You know, there's mountains in the background, uh, some interesting structures in the foreground. And uh, since I was out there, I thought I would also try my hand at doing some urban exploration, you know, some photographs of more, you know, ruin, you know, like, kind of like that uh, apocalyptic type feel. I really like looking at people's photos that do this very well. I've not done it before, or at least not very much. And so I thought I'd try that out and you know, stretch my mind a little bit. So let's go have a look and I'll show you the Salton Sea on the maps and some footage from the shoot. So here is San Diego, and out to the east, past the main portions of the desert, is the Salton Sea. And along the edges of the lakefront, you know, there are small little towns, like here's Bombay Beach, and across the way here is Salton City, and there's a few of these that dot the shorelines. Let's switch over to the satellite view. You can see that there is you know, very little that is left in terms of... Um, habitable, occupied land. A lot of this is now a, uh, a state preserve. There's even a, a wildlife preserve down here on the southern shores, which uh, there is one interesting subject I want to return to at some point. I did not get to visit there on this outing. Um, but I spent sunrise time right here in Bombay Beach, and you know, as I zoom in, you can see that you know, there is you know, just remnants of what was a flourishing resort community. 50, 60 years ago. And I spent most of my time around this pier and kind of wandering up and down this stretch of shore. Let's uh, look at some of the footage from the shoot. It's just before sunrise um, in Bombay Beach on the Salton Sea. Hopefully you can hear my voice. I forgot to bring my microphone with me this morning as I left the house insanely early. Grabbing a few shots of this uh, pier silhouette and uh, I'm really curious to see when the light comes up. I can actually get a look at some of more of the uh, you know things that are discarded. The the, the water level is really really low. You can see a lot of these piers and things that at one point you know were well into the lake, and you know even just you know a few years ago, there would the water would still be up around these pilings and things from the photos I've seen online. Uh, but you know with the droughts in California, it is really really low. There's some pretty interesting subjects around here. I'm going to take a walk down this side, which is going to get washed out entirely in the video here. There, a little better. There's some other things that stick out closer to where the water's coming up, and uh, something that kind of looks like the shape of a piano, so I'm not sure what I'm going to find over there, but this should be cool. So the shape that I thought was a piano was actually an old crane, but lo and behold, I did find an old piano lying here on the side of a wall. I don't know, maybe 40 meters, 100 feet or so from the lakeshore. Uh, the lighting is really poor on this as far as uh, making it it's something as part of the environment. You know, the sun's come up, background's harsh. I'm going to get in tight, take a few close-up shots of the insides of what's left of this piano. That should make a, an interesting subject. I've stopped in uh, Salton Beach, another spot where a lot of... Uh, Older homes from the 50s and 60s that have since been abandoned. And uh, 
Yeah, the rest of the, the town, you know, a, a block or two in from the edges of the lake, you know, everyone's there, you know, trees look good, roads are good, and, uh, you know, there's, there's plenty of businesses just up along the roads that still serve the lake, but, you know, closer to where the flooding would happen and where the, the water would come up and over, and you can see a lot of the damage here, um, yeah, these are just, you know, completely vacant. After shooting Sunrise in Bombay Beach, I went to the western side of the lake to uh, Salton Beach City and Salton City itself, that there are two different but similarly named places. And um, you know, all of these, these places uh, are still, you know, people still live there, they, they work there, uh, they have uh, some businesses, and you know, they, they feed in a lot of different areas of Imperial County. And uh, I guess, um, you know, because of that, sometimes it's difficult to know, is this home occupied or is it not? So you know, I honored every and all signage that I saw you know, for private property, do not trespass, anything like that. You know, I'm paying attention to it. If there is a, a vehicle that is parked out front that looks like it's operational, I'm not setting foot on that property. Many of the homes are surrounded by chain link fence, you know, kind of indicating, you know, hey, you know, we're here, please don't go in. So, um, you know, all of those things considered, I think I felt most comfortable in Salton Beach. It was easier to distinguish which homes were, you know, completely and you know abandoned, and which were not. Um, but the the whole experience was a little unnerving for me. It's just not the typical situation I'm used to when out photographing. The the tip of the week is to get out of your comfort zone. You know, as as uncomfortable as this was for me, I think it was good. You know, it made me use photo muscles in my, my brain that I might not normally use. You know, for example, shooting uh, closer to an interior, you know, there's much more uh, drastic changes in lighting. You've got you know, a bright, sunny day outside and then you know, shadowy areas inside of uh, you know, a crumbling structure. Um, other things too, you know, uh, individual objects. I found this uh, half of a boat that was pretty interesting, but you know, you have to get close. I mean, really, really close. I, I must have taken three or four photos of it each time, just stepping closer and closer and closer and realizing that was making a big difference in what I was seeing on the back of the camera. And so, so stepping outside of the normal things that I shoot, it made me approach these subjects differently. That is it for this week in the field. Hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, let me know. Shoot me a, a like, a plus one, comment uh, on the video. Send in your questions. Love getting your questions. So you can contact me through my website. You're free to ask me anything about photography. And uh, I will be honest. If I don't know, I'll tell you. And if I have an opinion on it, I'll let you know it's my opinion. Um, and I kind of that's really what most of <laughs> answers in photography are. It's one photographer's opinion based on some experience. So, you know, always use me as a resource. Check out other photographers as well because you want to piece all those things together to form your own unique style. Until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.